So now what you see in front of you is the motor, a brushless motor controller, a Hall Effect thumb throttle, and a power supply. Um, this is a brushless motor. I have zero experience with brushless motors. I've played with brushed DC motors, built my own electric motorcycle, built my own electric car. They're great, but they were both brushed DC. This is a little different. If you can see, there's three wires uh, going to the motor. It's not just a red and a black, positive and a negative. Instead, it's three phases. So this little brushless DC uh, motor controller is kind of like three uh, brushed DC PWM controllers all in one box and it feeds those signals at the right time. Um, I've just got this hooked up very, very simply, the black and the red wire for power and then the three phase wires back to the motor. I don't have any sensors or anything else hooked up and I've just temporarily hooked up the thumb throttle and I don't even have a good bench power supply or batteries so I'm using an old uh, uh, printer power supply right here. Um, it's 30 volt out. This is a 24 volt battery system, so that should work fine. So what I'll do is I'll plug this in. And now this should work um, just like it should in the scooter, um, only it's plugged into the wall instead of battery power. So if I uh, press the thumb, there you go. And I got a little black mark on there. So you should be able to see that that does spin, spin clockwise, which would be forward on the scooter. And it's maybe even a little easier to see if I put a rubber band or something on there. And off it goes. Um, so I got to mount this back into the scooter and put on the wheel and the belt.